Every single meal you eat triggers a complex journey through your digestive system, a finely tuned process that powers every cell in your body. From that first bite, your digestive system springs into action, breaking down every piece of food into the nutrients that fuel you, all without you even noticing it. Think of that sandwich apple or bowl of pasta as just the beginning. The first step is something simple, chewing, but it's more powerful than you'd expect. Each chew isn't just about making the food small enough to swallow, it's about triggering enzymes that begin breaking down complex molecules right in your mouth. Did you know? Saliva alone has enough enzymes to begin breaking down starches even before they reach your stomach. The average person produces enough saliva each year to fill two bathtubs. So, as your teeth grind down that food, your body is already priming it for the journey ahead. Swallowing may feel effortless, but the food doesn't simply fall down your throat. Enter the esophagus, a powerful tube of muscle that moves food in a way that's controlled and consistent. Think of a conveyor belt or an elevator. That's peristalsis in action. A series of contractions that pushes each bit down toward your stomach. In fact, peristalsis is so efficient that food would travel downward even if you were upside down. Once the food makes it down the esophagus, it meets the stomach, a powerful organ ready to take things up a notch. Your stomach might look like a soft, hollow sack, but it's one of the most intense environments inside your body. The food that reaches the stomach is met by stomach acid, a hydrochloric acid strong enough to dissolve metal. To protect itself, your stomach is lined with a thick mucus coating that prevents this powerful acid from damaging its own walls. Without this layer, your stomach would start to digest itself. The food is then churned and broken down into a semi-liquid substance called chyme, the consistency of thick soup. This acidic mixture is your food, broken down into a form that's ready for absorption. Now that the food is partially digested, it exits the stomach and moves into the small intestine, an organ far longer than most people realize. In fact, the small intestine is over 20 feet long, longer than some rooms. Here, enzymes from your pancreas and bile from your liver come into play. They neutralize the acid from your stomach and continue breaking down the food, each nutrient carefully broken down to be absorbed into the bloodstream. Fats, proteins, and carbs are all dismantled bit by bit, so every vitamin and mineral is extracted. The walls of the small intestine are covered with tiny hair-like structures called villi and microvilli, increasing the surface area to ensure as many nutrients as possible are absorbed. Each nutrient extracted here plays a vital role. Protein is broken down into amino acids to build muscles, repair tissues, and create enzymes and hormones. Carbohydrates are turned into glucose, giving you the energy needed for everyday life. And fats are split into fatty acids, essential for cell structure and energy storage. All of these elements are absorbed by the blood vessels lining the intestines and then transported to various parts of the body. Imagine each nutrient as a piece of a puzzle, carefully slotted into its specific role in keeping you alive and healthy. As the food moves further along, the remaining waste and unabsorbed nutrients are pushed into the large intestine where water absorption takes place. The large intestine is shorter but wider, about five feet long, and it acts as a final checkpoint. Here, the remaining water is drawn out, and good bacteria help to break down whatever's left. These bacteria are essential. They help produce certain vitamins like B and K, support your immune system, and keep harmful bacteria in check. A delicate balance of good bacteria is key for a healthy gut, and these microorganisms 
are hard at work every moment. So, as your body absorbs every last nutrient from that meal, there's an entire unseen world of microorganisms working to support you. In the large intestine, also known as the colon, trillions of bacteria play essential roles that go beyond digestion. These bacteria, collectively called the microbiome, support immune function, help synthesize certain vitamins, and even influence your mood and mental health. In fact, scientists have discovered that your gut health is deeply connected to your brain, often calling the gut our second brain. This connection, known as the gut-brain axis, means that your digestion can impact your stress levels, emotions, and even how well you sleep at night. As this process continues, the large intestine focuses on extracting any remaining water from the food you ate. This water absorption is crucial because it helps regulate hydration levels throughout your body. The waste material becomes more solid, transforming from a thick liquid into a soft, formed stool. This process is not only about waste disposal, but also about creating a perfect balance in your body's fluid levels. When the colon draws out too much water, you may experience constipation, too little water, and it can lead to diarrhea. This balance is maintained by the colon cells and the good bacteria residing there, which work in harmony to keep your digestive system running smoothly. The bacteria here are busy breaking down fiber, the indigestible part of plants, and turning it into beneficial compounds like short-chain fatty acids, which provide energy to your colon cells and offer a protective layer against certain diseases. Imagine the large intestine as a bustling city with every microorganism and cell working together to keep the environment balanced. Even the appendix, an organ once thought to be useless, now appears to serve as a safe house for beneficial bacteria. In cases where you lose good bacteria, like after an illness, the appendix can help repopulate your gut, restoring the delicate balance that keeps you healthy. The appendix may be small, but its contribution to digestive health is mighty. After the large intestine finishes its work, the waste is stored in the rectum, the final stretch of the digestive tract. It's here that sensors detect when the rectum is full and sends a signal to the brain that it's time to go to the bathroom. If the timing isn't right, muscles in the rectum contract and the urge fades temporarily only to return later. This mechanism might seem simple, but it's a perfect example of how the body's systems work together with precision. By managing when and how waste is expelled, your body maintains its internal balance, carefully controlling nutrient and water levels so that every function is supported. And while the primary job of the digestive system might seem focused on processing food, its role goes even further. The gut serves as a barrier, filtering out harmful bacteria, toxins, and pathogens while allowing essential nutrients to pass through. Specialized immune cells are stationed throughout your digestive system, especially in the small and large intestines, ready to respond to any threat. In fact, about 70% of your immune system is located in your gut. This immunity is one reason why maintaining a balanced microbiome with plenty of good bacteria is so crucial. Probiotics, which are found in fermented foods like yogurt, kimchi, and sauerkraut, can help support this balance by replenishing good bacteria, especially after antibiotics or digestive disturbances. With your body working in such a coordinated and precise way, it's remarkable to think that the digestive system does all this silently without any direct effort on your part. But what happens if something disrupts this delicate balance? Issues like stress, poor diet, lack of sleep, or even the overuse of antibiotics can impact the effectiveness of your digestive system and the overall health 
of your gut microbiome. When this happens, it's not just digestion that suffers. You might feel effects throughout your entire body. This can include fatigue, mood changes, or even skin issues, highlighting how interconnected the digestive system is with other parts of our health. For example, chronic stress can inhibit digestion by releasing hormones that slow down stomach contractions, leading to discomfort and indigestion. Over time, this can affect the gut-brain axis, creating a feedback loop where stress impacts digestion and poor digestion increases stress. This is why practices that reduce stress, such as mindfulness, exercise, and adequate sleep, can directly benefit your digestive health. Another example is fiber intake. Fiber not only supports regularity by adding bulk to stool, but it also feeds the beneficial bacteria in your gut, promoting a healthy balance. Without enough fiber, these bacteria can struggle, which might allow harmful bacteria to thrive, potentially weakening your immune response and leaving you more susceptible to infections. When you take steps to support your digestive health, you're investing in the well-being of your entire body. Simple changes like staying hydrated, eating a balanced diet rich in fiber, and incorporating probiotic-rich foods can improve digestion significantly. Hydration, for instance, helps soften stool, making it easier to pass and reducing the risk of constipation. Meanwhile, fiber from fruits, vegetables, and whole grains feeds the good bacteria and supports a balanced microbiome. These positive changes don't just make digestion easier. They benefit your energy levels, mental clarity, and overall resilience. Now, consider the power of probiotics and prebiotics. While probiotics are beneficial bacteria that can replenish your gut microbiome, prebiotics are types of fiber that feed these bacteria helping them thrive. Foods like garlic, onions, bananas, and oats are rich in prebiotics, providing the fuel that probiotics need to grow and maintain a healthy balance. When both prebiotics and probiotics are part of your diet, they form a strong partnership, supporting digestion, immune function, and even mental well-being. One lesser known but essential factor is the timing of meals. Eating in a consistent pattern, rather than erratically, helps regulate your body's digestive rhythm. The gut works on a sort of internal clock that's influenced by when you eat, and irregular eating patterns can disrupt digestion. Even the speed at which you eat can impact digestion. Eating too quickly doesn't give your stomach enough time to signal fullness which can lead to overeating and indigestion. By eating slowly and mindfully, you allow your digestive system to function at its best, promoting better absorption and a more comfortable digestive experience. The importance of physical activity in digestion is also worth noting. Regular exercise not only helps maintain a healthy weight, but also stimulates peristalsis, those wave-like muscle contractions in your digestive tract. This keeps food moving efficiently through your system, reduces bloating, and helps prevent constipation. Walking after meals, for instance, can aid digestion by encouraging this natural movement, making it easier for your body to absorb nutrients and process waste. Ultimately, caring for your digestive system isn't just about avoiding discomfort. It's about supporting a foundation of health that affects nearly every other function in your body. As you can see, the digestive process is more than just breaking down food. It's a carefully balanced ecosystem that plays a role in energy production, immune defense, mental clarity, and even mood regulation. Every meal is an opportunity to fuel and strengthen this system, allowing you to live with greater vitality and resilience. So next time you sit down for a meal, remember the journey that Bite will take and how it connects
to a vast, invisible network working tirelessly to keep you healthy. Before we go any further, I want to let you know that I'm going to leave a link for you to click on in the description below with our healthy eating guide, with recipes that explain how to cleanse your organs, arteries, and body with natural homemade recipes so you can prevent future health problems. There's even a tutorial that teaches you how to grow herbs at home to make teas. Take a look and then come back and tell our team what you think. Okay, if you've watched this far, click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our health tips and it's very important that you share this knowledge with your friends and family.